Hey guys, Tim Mitchell here. Welcome to the next series, piece of the Build a Blog series. Today we're going to cover how to add pages to your blog or to your website, how to add some pages to your new site. So, let's go back to our site. Right now we have two pages. It's self-generated. The home page, which is the home, and we also have the about page, which is the about me page. And here's where the social. I, I forgot to show you that. I haven't got around to that. Here is the sociable plugin. It allows you to print, dig it, stumble upon, delicious, Facebook, um, Buzz, Yahoo Buzz, Twitter, Google Bookmarks. There's our LinkedIn, Mr. Wong, and Ping FM. And you can just simply, I mean, it's really that easy. You just click it. One page, it takes you. This is. Uh, what's on your mind and you can enter this you can change the thumbnail or add no thumbnail and then just post it right there to share and it's that easy for someone coming to your website so if you put out good information it's very easy to to post it again if you want to add stuff to your website you go to your website forward slash blog or forward slash WP admin doc or nothing mine is online Tulsa marketing dot com forward slash blog forward slash WP admin allows me into the administration panel now we're gonna go to pages okay we're gonna set up a few pages so you're gonna need the about me page okay so you're just gonna say about me now, if you ever have something like this, okay, say it says the wrong thing. It says something that doesn't say up there. Just empty it out and push OK. And then automatically gets filled with the right stuff. This is why we do the change our permalinks, because otherwise this would be a number that means nothing. So we don't worry about that. That's why we change it, and now it's taken care of. Okay, for this, if you can post in a, in a WordPress document, you can post on your, on your new website. Okay, this is going to be a little bit about me. I help businesses find new clients by making them findable on the internet. And my website is freckledmonkey.com, and I want to make that clickable. So, just like Microsoft Word, come in here, push the click, and say, I, and you like to set things. I personally like to set things that open in a new window, so that way if they leave, they don't necessarily, they're not totally gone. It's really it as far as putting a new page up. You know, you want to do your all in one SEO. You can enter a new title, description, keywords. Um, not necessarily critical. It's going to take the title of your blog and make it the title of this. The description is going to pull the first certain amount of characters, pull the first 160 characters from your website. So you don't necessarily need to worry about this either. Um, I personally would suggest that you enter something in here besides uh, just generically pull. So, okay, let's see. Okay, so it says get new business using the internet starting today. Call me. And keyword is going to use something that it thinks is relevant. So if you have your own, okay, those are the words I think are relevant. Click update. Okay. Now we're going to need contact me. And with this, you can take this contact form here. This is why we installed it. And you just copy, go back, and paste. Or you can use your uh, email autoresponder, which is a good thing too. So let me get, and that's what I'm going to use. 
Let me grab my email autoresponder code and I'll put in my email autoresponder on this page. That's what I would do. Now, I'm not going to because this is just a test blog. It's just a blog set up. I'll probably come back in and, and fix that later. Contact form 1, contact form. You're going to add a new page. You want to add some kind of page for your services, right? To show your services. Okay, this is where I tell the world about my services and products. Again, fill in all in one, title, description, and keyword. Publish. Let's go new. This is going to be my specials. Hot products, okay, so then this is Phones are also great here. Again, slide on down, title, description, keywords, and publish. Now let's look at, let's check out our website. Simple as that, we've added the about me. There's that thing, it's linkable or clickable. Contact me, there's your form, your name email subject and message that's going to send to you services this is where you tell the world about your services and your hot products now one thing you'll notice is it says leave a reply here you might or you might not want anybody to be able to comment on these pages so if you do not want anybody to comment you go to that like here special hot products we're going to say a discussion here allow comments and you can allow or disallow trackbacks or pingbacks what a trackback or a pingback is just a ping or a, a link to another website it's just basically backlinks you can allow that or not allow them say I don't allow them okay and you can also turn on or off sociable let's leave sociable on because it's going to be our hot products link but take off our comments because we don't care if anybody comments on that it's going to be just a a page we can go to. So, refresh hot products, gone. Do that. If you want to say, I don't want any sociables on there, you click that, you click update. As fast as you can refresh it, it's gone. And we're going to put it back on. So make sure you're setting up your pages. I suggest you get an about me, a contact me, what I do, and 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 uh, some kind of coupon or hot pro hot hot product page. So when you want to mark, learn to market your business online with videos, free reports, go sign up today at OnlineTulsaMarketing.com. I have about 20 videos or so and a bunch of free reports. Also included are. I have the remainder of this build a blog series which you can access for free at the online tulsa marketing.com just sign up your information and I will speak with you soon